welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to Cape Cod and staying in a really cute VRBO in Dinnisport. My mom got me this trip for my 24th birthday and her best friend Karen and her daughter also came along and we had the best time. It was so amazing to just like get away and have a girls weekend. Our house was literally right on the beach. Like it took me two seconds to walk down. It was so beautiful. We spent four nights, I believe, on Cape Cod um, and just exploring around all the different places to go. But the very first place that we decided to go was Martha's Vineyard because that is actually like not on Cape Cod and you have to take a ferry over and that's what we did. It's like a 30 to 45 minute ferry across the way, but it was just so amazing because I've actually been on a personal boat around the ocean, but I've never really been on a ferry. And so that was so amazing. First place we went to when we got to the vineyard was uh, Oaks Bluff so that we could go and grab something to eat and also like see those gingerbread houses uh, at a quick glance and then we further like go and walk up towards them there'll be like later videos of it but we went and ate at this really cute bar like tavern it was called the Lookout Tavern also this guy across the way literally looked like Frank from Shameless like tell me that he does not look like Frank from Shameless because he is but I actually got a Bloody Mary and this is probably the last alcoholic drink I'll ever have. Amazing. But these are the gingerbread houses. They were so cute. My mom like really wanted to go and see them and so that's why we went and saw them. But we went and just like looked around all the little shops um, on Martha's Vineyard. It was actually the considered like the shoulder season when we went. So a lot of shops weren't open, but it was still so amazing and beautiful. Just so much beauty for the Aquina Cliffs. to ride it over that we got snacks and we had literally been looking for coffee for so long and we couldn't find any but we finally found coffee oh, so amazing the next morning we got up and went to ann and fran's kitchen in west yarmouth and it was so freaking delicious the like berry jam thing i don't know what it was but it was so good everything was delicious it was amazing 
Speaking of amazing, this was my favorite part of the whole trip. We went on a cranberry bog tour and I absolutely fell in love with this farm, this bog, this whole atmosphere here. It was so amazing and authentic and true. And it really just like gave me hope into like, you know, something that maybe I could do and have one day because this woman is literally living my dream so amazing so beautiful i could i literally cannot explain how happy this experience made me and i can't wait to go back next year and experience it again and get to be with michael hopefully this pig that was his name he's still there and all of the farm animals it was so amazing seriously i really cannot wait like how freaking mesmerizing is this like that's like out of a freaking movie no it was so beautiful really We went to Provincetown and walked around and looked at all the cute shops and watched some really cute like sidewalk shows and had a great old time here. It was honestly so amazing at the other end of the peninsula. This is the lighthouse that is on the Cape Cod chip bag. So that was super duper fun to go and see this. was the Three Sisters Lighthouse. It was so gorgeous and hidden. This was truly an amazing trip and I cannot wait to go back to Cape Cod and experience it again because it was so beautiful, not at all what I expected. And I really just can't thank my mom enough for taking me for my 24th birthday. It was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.